A large proportion of HER2-negative metastatic breast cancers are categorized as HER2-low because they express low levels of HER2 that are not targetable with available HER2-directed therapies. A new study examined the efficacy and safety of the antibody drug conjugate trastuzumab durex tecan in patients with previously treated HER2-low metastatic breast cancer. In this Phase three open-label randomized trial, 557 patients who had breast cancers with low HER2 expression, defined as a score of 1 plus on immunohistochemical analysis, or a score of 2 plus and a lack of gene amplification as measured by in situ hybridization, were assigned in a 2 to 1 ratio to receive trastuzumab durex tecan intravenously every three weeks at 5.4 milligrams per kilogram, or the physician's choice of chemotherapy. The primary endpoint Median progression-free survival in patients with hormone receptor-positive cancer was 10.1 months with trastuzumab durex tecan as compared with 5.4 months with the physician's choice of chemotherapy. Among key secondary endpoints, overall survival in hormone receptor-positive patients was significantly improved with trastuzumab durex tecan, as were progression-free survival in all patients and overall survival in all patients. Grade 3 or higher adverse events, most commonly neutropenia, occurred frequently in both groups. Adjudicated drug-related interstitial lung disease, or pneumonitis, occurred in 12% of the trastuzumab durex tecan-treated patients, most of whom had mild or moderate illness. The authors conclude that trastuzumab durex tecan significantly improved progression-free and overall survival in patients with previously treated HER2-low metastatic breast cancer. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.